right, guys. Okay, so just before we get started, oh, you know the deal by now. Um, these Wednesday sessions are entirely dedicated to your curriculum forms that you are working this time. This is the phase two curriculum. Okay, so hopefully you've been practicing what we've been going through over the last uh, few weeks. And this is going to be the final um, or the finishing uh, section, guys. This is going to be the uh, final combination that we're going to put in uh, to complete this form entirely. And the final section of this form is actually quite, I won't say it's long, but there's some moves to it and it can be quite tricky. So I am going to spend a lot of time on it, which means I can't spend that much on what has come before. So with that being said, guys, like I say, I hope you've been practicing so that I can just quickly get through that and get, uh, go on to the new stuff. Are you ready? So from there, this is forward, jump. And bow, straight away, 10 start. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? 10 press ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squat jumps. Race here. Squat jumps, guys. Oh, excellent job. Couple of weird looking, scraping the floor squat jumps from a couple, uh, not naming any names. Okay, guys, into a job. Hey! Nice, like a toes, just stance changing, but I can't. Hana. Oh. Set. Left. That's. Yes. Over. Gather. Out. Yo. From there, facing forwards. Keep going forward and back. Just like me. Forward and back. Basically. Doing that on the spot. And now, legs out to the side. Just lightly out to the side. Three, two, one. Now out of turn. So go out, turn, out. I'm going to tell you when the sections come in and come out, um, just so that you understand exactly when we start talking about sections, where the beginning and end are. Are you ready? So from there, section one, your left, right, left, one, two, hold back, the three, step out again, four, reset the five, right, left, right, step out, back fist, 
Six is punch. Seven, pull back. And eight, step out and punch. Effectively, guys, that's section one. However, you can also add move nine and ten to the end of it. Okay? There's a little bit of overlap between one and two. Okay? All right? So, nine is the next block, ten is down, eleven, kick with the right leg. 12, kick with the left leg. 13, step onto one knee and spear hand. Sorry. And then tucking the arm underneath. Okay? Now on to what we did last week. So this is section two, guys. Section two ended there. Section three, come up into that guard stance. All the kicks, basically. That's section three. Ready? Off we go. Low. High, turning kick, one step. Side kick, one step, hook kick. That is all of section three, okay? And that is what we should already know up to. Thumbs up if you know that and you're confident with it and ready to move on. Yep, we all got a lot of you on the thing now. <laughs> Pressing thumbs up via Zoom. Just a simple thing like that, right, good. Okay, guys. So, excellent, so you're all ready to move on. So this final section now, you've just done this hook kick, okay? We've finished practically in a guard. We're going to go over our left shoulder to that far corner over there, okay? We're gonna step all the way out to do a long walking stance. So now guys, you might not be able to tell you know, the camera, but we're going diagonally, okay? So we're going down in that way, okay? Left leg's forward, left arm is going to do a reverse chop. So we're pulling it from our shoulder, chopping into the neck. Other hand adds a punch to the body, okay? Then our back leg is going to step to the other corner where we will do the exact same on the other side. Right leg is forward, so right arm chops and left arm punches. Okay? Not done, that's not the end, but I'm going to just recap on that. So you've just done the whole kick, you're finishing that guard, you're going to walk over your left shoulder to the far corner over there, step up into a long stance, reverse chop and punch, then your other leg steps to the other corner, chop and punch. Okay, one more time guys, just so that you fully understand exactly what the footwork is doing here, okay? So, finishing that guys, you've just done that whole kick over your left shoulder. Hang on a sec. 14, 15, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18 is where you will step out, chop, 19, punch. 20, chop, 21, punch. Okay? We okay with that, guys? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Guys, I need you to let me know because it's a really tough uh, thing. You good? Right. Okay, most of you do the thumbs up, fantastic. So, once you've done that uh, chop and punch through that corner, you are then going to step up into a, I say it's, it's a short guard. It's only for a fraction of a second. It's just to set you up because it's going to be your right leg that does a front snap kick one step full snap kick combination that way, okay? I right, so this way so you can see, I, I step up into a quick guard, kick, one step, kick. Okay? Good. So you ready? Add that to the end of the combo now. Imagine you've just done that hook kick. Ready? Over your left shoulder. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Excellent job. Oh, we're getting closer, but we're still not done. As soon as you finish that one step, guys, okay, you're going to imagine grabbing a target and pulling it into your elbow. This elbow, your right elbow, okay? So, again, for the visual, you're kicking with this leg, your right leg. When you finish, you land and you add 
flat elbow strike. Because of this, it's really hard for me to show you on camera. Anyway, so ready? Let's go from, let's just go from the hook kick. So just on the hook kick, nice and fast now, ready? 18, round, chop, punch, 19, chop, punch, oh, sorry, 19 punch, 20 and 21, sorry, 22, quickly into that guard, then kick, 23, one step, 24, elbow. Yeah. To finish off this one now, guys, the final combination, your front leg will step back into a long stance. And you will do moves nine and ten essentially again. You will do that X block and low strike. Okay, so that's the final combo. So, one more time, just nice and steady, guys, do every single move. That's the end, by the way. That X and down, that's the end of the form. So, you ready? Let's just do that combo one more time, nice and steady. I've really tried to break it down, guys, into little chunks. So, now we're just going to try and combine it all together. So you've just done that whole kick, 18, round the back. Get that long stance, aim into that corner, reverse chop to the neck. 19, ah, that punch. 20, make sure you move these feet, guys. Don't just turn your body and face this way. You've got to move the head towards that corner. Ready, 20 is chop, 21 is punch, 22, step up and kick. 23, one step kick, land it, 24, elbow, and then step back, 25, X block, 26, down. Okay, how are we feeling about that combo, guys? It is a tricky one. Okay, don't be uh, afraid if it's intimidating you, if it's making it a little bit hard, okay? I'm just going to keep practicing that now, okay? Uh, yeah, a couple more times on this section, and then I'll see if you can do the whole thing. Ready? So, again, <laughs> just on that hook kick. <laughs> just on that hook kick, guys. Final uh, run through section four with me, and then we'll see if you can do the whole thing on your own. Ready? From there, 18. Step out, reverse shot into that corner. 19, add that punch. 20, move your feet to the other corner, chop. 21, punch. 22, briefly step up to kick. 24, uh, one step kick. Land out, be control in long stance. Elbow strike at 25, then step back. Hands from your hip. Uh, sorry, this is 25, sorry. And 26 is down. 24 is the elbow. Right, guys. So what I want you to do now is just practice that whole thing, the whole form from beginning to end in your own time, okay? Are you okay there, Joseph? Your thumbs down? <laughs> oh, you're just messing, okay, fair enough. Okay, so guys, just practice the whole thing from start to end, going through in your own time. I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can help you with, if there's any habits that the whole group is doing that I can assist you with. So you ready? It's in your own time from the very start, off you go. So left, right, left, back is punched from the very beginning. Each section, that certainly can be nice and strong. The early stages should come naturally to you now, guys, especially if you've been practicing them, you've been keeping on top of them. If you need any specific help, guys, let me know. You can signal, you can raise your hand via the Zoom call, so if there's anything that you, if you want me to walk to you and help you specifically, you can absolutely do so. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep an eye on everybody. That's it, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> keep the city. <laughs> Elbow. Yeah, good. Nice work, guys. Um, it's going to be quite hard, I know, given the space that you're in. It can be quite uh, difficult, guys, to do the entire form, um, given the room you're limited in. Uh, but do your best. I don't mind you, like, stopping your form to move to a more advantageous position. So if you're sort of, okay, if I continue going this way, I'm going to kick a wall or I'm going to kick uh, a chair. Rather than going into that chair and then just doing a weak kick, I'd rather you move yourself so that you were in a better position to do that kick. 
Uh, that way, it just it just builds the practice there. You see, just make sure that that leg gets used to doing a full place kick there, rather than getting used to doing a weak stunted kick. So it goes for everything. That goes for stances. That goes for hand techniques. That's it. Brilliant there. And that's Rowan. Yep. Go on, Thomas. So you all right there, Xavier? Ah, yes, that's true. Right, guys, so here's the thing you must remember, okay? In section two of this form, it is right leg kick, left leg kick, then step. In section four, it is a one step. Do not get your wires crossed. Don't get confused. Make sure when you do this first, and down, right leg, then left leg, then step to that knee. Later on, when you're going to the corner, that's a one step. So don't go right leg, left leg, then. Make sure it's a one step on that last bit, okay? So you would do that chop, punch, step, kick, one step, kick, all right? It's a lengthy form, guys. It does have its challenges. Do your best, okay? Have confidence and faith in yourself. Before we uh, went any further on this form, you showed me that you knew what you were doing with this form. You showed me, I saw you all do sections one, two, and three brilliantly, okay? So you can do that. So don't start overthinking it now. Don't start worrying and panicking and thinking, I'm going wrong, okay? You know the first bits, you do. You may just need to slow it down sometimes. You may just need to have a think. That's okay. But don't panic. Don't worry. Keep it going. Keep practicing, guys. Still want to see you practice in this form. Want to make sure you get in your head. Whole thing, whole form. That's it. And don't rush it. Get a good pace. Find your pace, guys. I said this to the last group. I'll say it to you guys as well. Try not to rush through a form. Okay? You're actually more likely to make mistakes. And we on grading day are actually more likely to ask you to do it again. So if your goal is to get to the end of this form as quickly as possible because you don't like doing it, you're going to have to do it again, guys, because we're going to probably ask you to do it again. Okay, so just take time. Find a pace that suits you, something nice and steady. And just stick to that. Just as long as you've got that power, that's the speed of movement, your effort, shouting as well, guys. I know a lot of you uh, being at home may feel a little bit less confident and comfortable shouting in your own home, but just get used to it. Just helps with breath control as well. It means that you get less tired while you're performing, okay? So if it's a, if it's a lengthy form, which this form can be, get used to just, uh, Breathing properly. <laughs> Don't want to hold your breath on any move. That sharpness that you get if you hold your breath is actually an illusion. It's not technically the sharpness, it's the stiffness. It's your muscles tightening up too much so they're not moving. So you want to be relaxed, keep breathing, get oxygen back into your muscles. It makes them move just that much sharper. Five seconds, guys. Four, three, Two, and keep it going. If you're halfway through a form, I'll want you to finish it. That's it, Seth. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Oh, nice work. So remember, guys, that last bit. It is, it's something that does throw a lot of people through a loop. That last bit, after the chops and punches, you're doing that fine. Every, every single one of you has got the chops and punches down solid. It's very, very strong. It's when we start adding these kicks, guys, that a lot of us get stuck, and it's happened many times before, okay? It does tend to confuse people. Because we're trying to keep with our right leg, we have to step up. That's why we're doing it, okay? Otherwise, it's just all like this, and that just looks flimsy, okay? So that's why we're asking you to step up, but don't think that, that step is a kick, okay? Don't think that you're kicking 
kicking in with one step kick. You're not doing that. Okay. So just remember, it's just a little step. It's a tiny step. It's just like this little tiny step up and kick. Okay. It's just a small thing. Right. Okay. So guys, we're pretty much done. Last thing I want to finish with though is just this kick combination in our form. Okay. So this low high, step side, step hook kick. I just want to hammer these techniques. In fact, this combination, okay? So just on the spot now or in whatever space you can, I want to make sure you're hitting these targets. And take your time on them as well. It's not really, really fast. It's nice and steady. You'll make sure. Low high, set, one step, set, and hook, okay? Finish every single move before you move on. Ready? Off you go. So it's a low high turning kick, one step side kick, one step hook kick. We're looking for. Okay, visualize those target areas as well, guys. Low high, you can aim below the bell because the first kick isn't aiming to hit. But nevertheless, there's nothing wrong with aiming for mid high as well. Okay, aiming for the ribs and then aiming for the head. That one step side kick, it can actually go to the head section, guys. Anywhere above the belt is fine. Try and get that mid section, but if you want to challenge yourself, you can go head section. And finally, that hook kick predominantly will aim to the head. We will generally always aim to the head of hook kick, but it can also hit to the body, especially in sparring. If someone's like this, the hook kick can get around and score that point. So it, can, it does count to do a hook kick to the body, but realistically, guys, when you're doing this, I want to see it nice and high. No, no uh, shortcuts. You be going a couple more seconds on this combo, guys. Don't want to take too long. It's just because this is almost like the centerpiece of the form. This kick combination, the speed, the technique, the flexibility for this uh, is kind of like the beating heart of this one. Everything is sort of leading up to this and it just sort of explodes in the middle. So I want to make sure everything about it looks nice and sharp, nice and strong. That's it. Because everything up to this point has been rather steady. As strong as it may have been with the hand techniques, it is these explosive kicks like one, two, three, four, that sort of just makes it just stick, in my opinion. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right guys, so here's going to happen now. Final performance of your form. I am going to do this with you, so if there's any part that you're struggling with, you can use me as a reference, okay? But if you are confident, if you know what you're doing, absolutely go through this form in your own time. So you ready? This is forward, go. And bow. Three, three, universal four. Did you have it? One, two, three, four, five, right, left, right, six, seven, eight, nine, step back, X, ten, down, eleven, kick, twelve, kick. 13, step, one knee, bit high. 14, guard, 15, love high, 16, step, side, 17, step, hook, one in that guard, 18, round the back, step to the corner, long stance, reverse shot, 19, punch, 20, to the other corner, shot, 21, punch, 22, step, then kick, 23, one step, 24, you land, elbow, 25, step back, X, and 26, down. And finish the form, guys. Victory, humility, honesty, and back. So, tell me before we finish, guys, hit fingers. How confident are you with that whole form? 10 being very confident, one being I need a lot of help. Okay, so, anywhere above eight, or eight and above is good. Even sevens are okay. Nice work, guys. Okay. So, a challenge then for those of you that are really, really confident. If you're showing me 10, okay. If that's you, your challenge, oh no, 
Xavier's confidence is slowly diminishing. His fingers are falling away. <laughs> if you're really confident, guys, if you really are sure what you, and you know what you're doing, okay, a challenge for you. Teach someone your form in your family, okay? So not no, not, not right now. You don't have to go and get them. You don't have to go fetch them away, okay? But just as a challenge, over the weekend or something like that, just teach mom or dad or brother or sister, okay? If your brother or sister is typically younger than you, I, I wouldn't <laughs> just because it may be very hard for them. But anyone who's older than you, uh, you can absolutely teach them. Joseph, you can teach Dylan. Uh, this is Joseph Connolly. You can teach Dylan. You can teach your dad as well. Why not teach your mum? We'll get her involved, okay? So that's what I, a challenge for you guys. It will show you how much you know this form, okay? And usually by teaching others, you are inadvertently teaching yourself. You're helping yourself out. You're building your own confidence. Okay, if you can teach, and this goes for anything, if you can teach any subject, it shows that you know that subject. So to test yourself on how much you know this form, try and teach someone with uh, this form. Okay, as I say, you don't have to do it right in a second, you don't have to do it right now, just over the uh, weekend or something. And that is all the time we've got for today, guys. That's the phase two class over. So I will see you next time. Make sure you keep practicing that form and make sure you keep training in the uh, standard classes. See you next time, guys. Bye.